A common complaint from parents is that schools don't do enough to help young victims of bullies. But next year, New York State will require schools under the Dignity Act to deal directly with the issue. News 4 senior correspondent Rich Newberg has more on this as part of our News 4 Bully Project. Victims of bullies can suffer deep emotional scars. 12-year-old Robbie's grades at Bilingual Center 33 in South Buffalo have been slipping because he says bullies are making his life miserable. Well, the bullies are calling me names, like racist names, and they push me in the bathroom. He's come home and he's told me that He's thought about cutting himself to take away the pain. Robbie's principal told me greater efforts will be made to investigate. When there is a bullying incident, there has to be really serious interventions. Even second graders at Elmwood Franklin are now learning about conflict resolution and building self-esteem. Chloe, I love your smile <laughs> and your enthusiasm. And what to do about bullies. Someone can tell the teacher and they can split it up. We identified adults who they could talk to about a problem or if they were being bullied. Giving them the skills to be able to advocate for themselves and for uh, their friends so they can say, stop it, I don't like it. Here at Elmwood Franklin, the kids are also getting a surprise visit from someone who they would least expect to have been bullied as a child. When I was your age, I was bullied. My name is Baby Joe. Former world heavyweight contender Baby Joe Macy, who got the nickname from his grandparents, never lost a fight in the ring. But growing up, he was one of the smallest in his class. I would get poked fun of, made fun of, pushed around, beaten up in elementary school and in middle school. Isn't it kind of like um, always they tell you to believe in yourself? Believe in yourself is exactly right. Everyone has a reason to be proud of themselves. And I had to find that when I was a young kid. 50-second knockout for Joe Macy. Lightning strikes on boxing after dark in Buffalo. 